Hey guys and welcome to another Polymer Clay tutorial. Today we are going to create the boss Grim Matchstick from the game Cuphead. Let's start creating our Grim Matchstick and all we need is some aluminum wire to start the amateur to start the skeleton and I really wanted to create this posture where Grim is sitting on his long tail. Well, as I'm not able to make him fly. <laughs> but in the game itself he isn't flying pretty well um, anyway. <laughs> so, after wrapping around some aluminum foil you just make a very thin layer of green clay and we start coating. Yeah, while preparing the tail, I have some great news to announce. I partnered up with the best clay crafters here on YouTube, which include the channels from Nerd eCrafter, Lord Chirik, Jovi Hobby and Christian Craft. And the idea behind that is that we can all work on one topic together and to provide even faster tutorials for, let's say, um, cuphead <laughs> so you don't have to wait that long for new tutorials I will link all these channels in the description and also on my channel page and I will show you some of the videos they are doing in the end card so I'm pretty excited about this collaboration and I am also excited about this creation about Grim Matchstick and there's one reason I really like this gay guy, sorry, this guy from the game Cuphead. It is the only boss in the game who doesn't actually want to hurt Cuphead and Muckman. And this is so cute and lovable, I think. I read on Wikipedia that Grimm is, uh, well, the dragon is a bit misunderstood and apologize for being forced into putting the brothers into such troubles. <laughs> ah, nice guy, this grim matchstick. <laughs> now we will prepare the nose holes and I will add some steam coming out of these two holes afterwards, after baking in the oven with some grey wool. Yeah, I prepared these three hats. Well, you've seen at least the first one, the other ones are exactly the same, except for the middle hat, let's call him Grom. Grim, Grom and Grum. <laughs> this mouth is wide open, he has also some um, eyelids as well, and he will spit out some fire after we will, well, after baking in the oven as well. <laughs> Now we will add some more details, just some tooth. These are the two big tooth at the front. The other ones are a bit smaller. And now some time for preparing the eyes and the iris, the black iris. Grom has these long iris, black iris. The other two, Grim and Grum, has just round black irises. Now these thorns on the back and now we can prepare the arms. They are pretty short, keep that in mind. The same is going for the legs as well, pretty short. And it really should look like as if he is not able to use them. I think in the fight itself, in Capet, he, is, he isn't using either legs or arms. These will be the wings. Take a very thin layer of green clay as well, just cut it into the right shape and we're ready to go into the oven. Freshly baked Grim Matchstick and also Grom and Grum. <laughs> just removing the stands I created for the oven part and now we will glue the wings to the body with super glue. Very fast drying, please be careful with that. Okay, the body is almost finished, now we can spend some time on the face. Some transparent polish for the eyes, for example. 
Well, for the collaboration, I will add the videos in the end card of the other great crafters as well. And for the future, you will recognize these videos with a big collaboration with the other crafters by the hashtag Clay Collab, which stands for Clay Collaboration, but I'm sure <laughs> you knew about that. Okay, now we drill this last hole right in the mouth of Grom and we will put the fire inside some gray wool for Grim as well. Here we go, some steam and I guess finally that's it! Grim Matchstick! The next tutorial will be about Clash Royale and after that it's time for Pokemon. So please leave me some ideas for the poll, for the Pokemon poll in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this Cuphead tutorial. Please also check out the other great crafters I am happy to collaborate with. So here are the videos. Click and enjoy. I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, see you next week and bye.